What's up my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D and you're watching Vina Team and Unfiltered. This part is for the people who are not currently watching Big Brother Season 24. So I'm going to get to the Paloma part. So just hang in there with me. I have to give a quick backstory. So Big Brother Season 24 is currently going on. There's a beautiful young lady named Taylor that entered the house. She was Miss Michigan 2021. Okay. Stunning. Gorgeous. When she entered the house, this was her face. The first night of entering the house. Smiling, elegant, beautiful, all of that. Now, after that, this became her face. Every other day, she was crying. Every other day, there was an issue because she was being bullied in the house. Now, I'm not going to say all of them, but majority of the house started to bully Taylor based on lies told about her, based on misinterpretations of certain things that was going on, okay? And a lot of people bullied and lied on Taylor, but we're focused on one of them in this video, and that's the reason why it might seem one-sided. This person wasn't the only person who bullied Taylor and who also lied on Taylor, but this video is about her. So you're going to see a lot of the things that she did. There was a girl in the house named Paloma. She would lie and backstab Taylor and then go to Taylor's face and pretend like everything was okay. And I get it. It is big brother. That's what people normally do. I get it. But when you are crossing certain lines and going too far, then it becomes too much. In the midst of all of this, social media did not play. The dragging of Big Brother, the host, the producers, you know, to step in and do something and this is not okay. It became loud and clear and serious to the point where even Julie, the host, at the end of an episode said, ease up on the house guest to the public. Well, long story short, Paloma quit. Okay, so people are saying either the guilt from what she was doing was eating her up or production pulled her aside and say, okay, the heat is too much. You got to go. And then they made up this whole story about, oh, you know, she quit all of this. Well, Paloma, if that's true and production had you leave, then you are contradicting yourself in this video that I'm about to play. But before I play the video, it was a lie and a twisting of Taylor words that Paloma went around the house spreading that got majority of the house to turn on Taylor. Now, I'm not saying Taylor is a scent. I'm just saying the behavior towards her in the house was and still is ridiculous. It's not as bad as when Paloma was in there, but there's still some work that needs to be done. Let's get into some clips of Paloma in action in the house so you can see for yourself. And then I'm going to play her somewhat of an apology or the lack thereof. Let's get into that. I don't want you to go home and think like people fucking hate me. I, and I literally, I was like crying in the diary room day one. Like, I don't want people to fucking hate her. Because everyone fucking hates her. Honestly. I don't want you to go home and think like people fucking hate me. I, and I literally, I was like crying in the diary room day one. Like, I don't want people to fucking hate her. Because everyone fucking hates her. Honestly, everyone fucking hates her. Jazz, especially Jazz. And stereotype her. She's full. She's full time working pageants, and her mother was like pageantry. We're not gonna let pageant girl go and be like, no alliance. No. Fuck. What's pageant girl? Like Taylor. So I feel so mean, like saying like, oh pageant girl. Like she shouldn't have come in here saying she was a pageant girl. Like are you stupid? You know? Like I was like, cause I'm sick of stereotypes. I'm sick of shaming people. No shit talking. Lack self awareness. That's it. Taylor. She lacks self awareness. Oh, I have to go sleep next to a snake. If she was dumb enough to put herself in the situation, she's dumb enough to be convinced again. Yeah. So. So even if you're sitting on your couch watching this, be cheering us on. Good vibe, no way's a bad vibe. Like, I was no, a bad vibe. <laughs> no, no, you weren't, you weren't, you weren't, because we realized that real quick. We realized it fast. At first, we're like, wait, what are these? I'm, I'm like, what are these, like, you know, commentaries? Bro, are you not Sorry. aware that, like, you come off across as, like, a fucking bitch? I don't even know if she means to be bitch, honestly. Well, I know your heart. You don't think I know your heart? When you walked out and with your beautiful model walk, my ass needs to go bad. You walked her. I was like, I want her on my team, <laughs> you know, and then, but you weren't coming to me. You went straight upstairs to the boys and I was like, damn, like, you know, you know, the girls were like, what's going on? Like, we live at like Taylor, but like, where is she? We need to like, we need to like make her fall in love with one of the guys, make one of the guys like fall in love with her and then like boot them out. Yeah. Why is Taylor up there? She's not a girl's girl. She's not a girl's girl. I dropped my yeah. pineapple. She's like, mm. 
Yeah. yeah. Like every little thing. But so. keep fighting, okay? Seriously, I don't want there to be any animosity. Big Brother for 23 seasons has been about animosity and F that person. To, to what extent? I don't know what the fuck she's blabbering her mouth about. Frankly, I don't give a shit. She's just fucking a lying bitch. She's a fucking, I've tried to be compassionate towards her. She's such a bitch to me. Can you just tell people what's this, what this bitch is doing? I need to go to sleep with Jasmine. She's like, dude, this bitch is like paranoid about you for some reason. Should see that people like me. And this bitch is like trying to make some shit up about me. I'm like, are you this? I'm like, are you that stupid? Like, you don't see the people fucking like me. But no, like all 16 of us are family. And that's what I realized real quick. It's so funny because everyone's like, everyone's so nice. Like, everyone's so sweet. Like, hell no. I'm like, I don't want anyone in this house to come out of here getting bullied. Right? And we can't blame production. And we can't blame a system. The media doesn't portray what the truth is. Guys, it's Pluma from Big Brother 24. I am feeling much better since I left the house and self-evicted. I want to make it super clear that I self-evicted not because of Taylor or anyone else, but because of my mental health. Um, another thing I want to address, obviously, is the whole Taylor drama because, frankly, I am so sick of people on Twitter making assumptions about who I am without actually hearing me out. So it's as simple as this. You know, I was in the house bullied by Taylor. You know, I'm in the shower washing my hair and she makes a comment and makes fun of how I look in the shower, right? Or I drop a piece of pineapple and there's a condescending comment that happened, right? So what does someone do when they're bullied? They clap back, right? And it's not taking the high road. It's not, you know, being the nicest person. I had moments in there where I definitely was not nice at all. And I do apologize for that. But I'm not a perfect human being and I'm ready to take accountability for that. Was it a matter of race or me being a racist? Absolutely not. Was it a matter of Paloma being bullied and it not being shown on camera? Yeah, that for sure happened. Did Taylor and I get past that and become friends? Absolutely. But I'm here to tell you that the media and the show a lot of times doesn't portray what the truth is. They want to portray what's entertaining. And like, how can you blame them? You know, how can you blame them? But it's at, a, it's at a cost and it's at the expense of my mental health. It's at the expense of me and my character. And it's at the expense of my well-being, truthfully. So I'm here to tell my truth and take it for what it will be. But you can believe it. You cannot believe it. At this point, though, I don't really care. I'm here to just tell my truth for my clarity and my closure. And that's what it is. Shout out to the person who put those different clips of Paloma coming for Taylor and then going to her face and pretending together. Thank you for that. Now, if for some odd reason that entire section of this video disappeared, it's because CBS probably came back and put a copyright strike on my channel. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I normally don't include clips like this because it's obvious I don't own the clip, but there was no way to really explain what Paloma did without showing you those clips. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But in the future, if you're listening to this and the section that I'm talking about is no longer there, that is because it was blocked for copyrights and I went ahead and removed that entire section. It was basically different clips of Paloma talking you know mess about taylor but then coming to her face and smiling and pretending like oh i love you girl and nothing is wrong so that's one paloma is also going around probably allegedly striking people channels who are reposting her apology or the lack thereof video after she posted it the backlash was too much and she took it down so it's possible that she's going around and, you know, flagging people channels who are reposting it. So if that happens, I'm going to have to remove it as well. So if you're watching this in the future and you do not see the video of Paloma apology and her response. And you do not see the two minutes and almost 30 seconds clip of Paloma coming for Taylor being rude. That's because both videos were striking. I had to take it out. Paloma, you do not say I'm sorry and add a but. You do not say I'm taking accountability, but then blame production and editing. There's no empathy. You have no remorse. And you feel like you are justified in what you did because according to you, you two were bullied. But for some odd reason, the live feed and the camera just so happened to capture you doing all of the bullying and nothing of Taylor. You and the entire house kept coming after that girl. It could have been you projecting because you constantly spoke about her pageant, her looks, and all of that. Insecurities, maybe? It was just a hot mess. But my thing is, you do not apologize and take accountability, yet you're blaming other people for the reason why you did what you did. And then to speak on protecting your mental health, 
but you didn't think what you did in the house affected Taylor's mental health? Like a walking contradiction. What is wrong with her? But anyways, like I said, however, we can't be hypocrites either. We can give constructive criticism, but for the people also bullying and dragging Paloma, you can't say she was a bully, she affected Taylor's mental health, but then turn around and do the same thing she was doing to Taylor because then that makes you a hypocrite. You did all of this to yourself, Paloma. But anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Yes, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.